there everyone. For those of you that don't know, I really like football. Or for my American fans, soccer. When I was a kid, I'd regularly go to Fulham home games with my dad. I was a junior black and white. I was once a ball girl at Craven Cottage. As a Fulham fan, it gives me a great pleasure to rub in the faces of Chelsea fans that I've actually walked on Stamford Bridge pitch and like done football training there. I was on my school football team in primary school and secondary school. And whilst I don't religiously follow football now, I watch a few games occasionally throughout the year and I keep an eye on the league table. And yes, I am aware of how badly Fulham did this season. That goal difference. <sighs> but when I'm most likely to really get into football is around the UEFA European Championships and the World Cup. The reasons for this are you've got a ton of world-class players all coming together for you to watch. The stakes are really high because these competitions only come once every four years, so the drama of these games is just amplified. The atmosphere is amazing and it's often all anyone can talk about and I understand that's really annoying for non-football fans, but for someone who actually likes football it's quite nice. I'm really sorry. And I get to have my hopes built up only to have them crash and burn as England crash and burn out. Please don't do it this year, England. Just, just try and get to, try and get to the semi-finals. Just something, please, thanks. So with this in mind and the knowledge that a lot of my female friends are the same in that they might not watch football a lot, but when there are big international games, they will watch it. I was slightly disappointed when I saw the latest Curry's ad for TVs. Basically how all these adverts go is that there's a silly football mad guy who's trying to convince his female significant other who is highly skeptical mm -hmm, that they should totally buy a TV so that she can watch all the programs she likes like gardening programs, historical dramas and those nature documentaries that their daughter likes so much. The joke is that it's obvious that they just want it for the World Cup. Naturally, I have a few problems with these adverts. Firstly, I don't like how it relies on the old comedy advertising trope of ha 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 silly men and serious sceptical women. It just looks like a sitcom from the 1970s. It doesn't reflect well on either gender and it just gets really boring after a while. I especially hate how the women are just being used as silent props with their reaction just being used to show how funny the men are. Like literally the longest line any of these women is is oh yeah? Secondly, I hate how it's only men who are excited about football. I mean, hi! As I've said before, I know loads of women excited for the World Cup, and I also know just as many men not excited for it. You could have so easily shoved into just one of those adverts a guy who wasn't into football or a girl who was into football, but you didn't, and you had to make it all gendered and uh. Instead, they show a load of women who are just not at all interested in football and a load of men who are completely ignorant of stereotypically female TV programs. Also, it's annoying because in one of them, the guy is trying to convince them to get a new TV for their child so that their child can watch all those fun nature documentaries, but of course, they cast it as a girl because a boy would want to watch football, right? As someone who studied marketing, advertising and advertising history as part of her degree and has a relative interest in the field still now, I'm well aware of how sexist advertising has been and can still be. But this one threw me off a little bit because the PC World and Curry's advertising has never been that gendered before, but looking into it, it seems that they've switched advertising agencies and that might be why. But yeah, I sent a tweet to the uh, Twitter account of Curry's and PC World in the UK and I was like, isn't it a bit sexist, these adverts? Like, really? But they were kind of dismissive about it and they were like, oh, sorry, it's not to your taste. Rather than like acknowledging that there might be a problem, they were like, oh, well, other people like it. They also wrote, thanks for your opinion there. Oh, so patronizing. But yeah, I don't think they like me, but oh well. <laughs> Oh well, I know I'm not the only one to have seen these adverts and gone, really? So uh, yeah, I will try and find links to them and put them down below. Let me know what you think. I just think it's really boring, crappy comedy and yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. And someone was screaming outside. Um, hopefully they're okay. Bye. Nope, nope, it's just a bird. It's all okay. Yay. <laughs>